Hi, welcome to another video in my series on transformation matrices. Now, in this particular video, we're going to look at how we compile the transformation matrix for a rotation of 180 degrees center the origin. And in other words, I've got a shape here, a triangle ABC. If I was to rotate it 180 degrees about the origin, it's going to go to this position here. Now, how do we compile that matrix then? Let's just take this shape back to where it started and we'll go about doing that. Now, if you've been following any of the videos in this series, you'll know that it's easily done. All we do is we consider the unit base vectors. That is two base vectors, one in this direction. Its value is one zero and we consider the other unit base vector up here and its value is 0, 1. And we look at where these two vectors are transformed to under the transformation that we're considering. So to get that transformation matrix then we consider first of all 1, 0. Where's this going to go if we were to, to turn this 180 degrees anti-clockwise because that's the default value when you talk about a positive angle. It's a rotation in an anti-clockwise sense. So it's going to turn from say the three o'clock position right the way around to the nine o'clock position if it was say the hour hand of a clock. And that vector there would be the vector minus one zero. And where would this one go to? Well, again, if we thought of this as the hour hand, it's pointing at 12 o'clock. It's going to turn in an anti-clockwise sense down to the six o'clock position. So that vector would be the vector zero minus one. And to form that transformation matrix then, all we do is we take each of the results of these two vectors in turn. 1, 0 went to minus 1, 0. So minus 1, 0 goes there. 0, 1 went to 0, minus 1. So that result goes there. OK. And so that is our transformation matrix, which would transform any shape, not just this one, any shape, 180 degrees, center the origin. And to prove that this works, we'll do an example, we'll take our transformation matrix, in this case minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1. We multiply it by the matrix of the shape that we're considering. In this case, we look at the vertices A, B, C of this triangle. We look at the position vectors of those points. Position vector of A is 2, 1. So we just write that as 2, 1. For B, it's 2, 3. And for C, it is 3, 1. OK. We take that shape matrix, pre-multiply it by the transformation matrix. And what do we get? Well, I'm assuming you're familiar with matrix multiplication. If not, just check it out on my website, how we go about multiplying matrices. But what happens is, in this example, we find that all the numbers on the top row are negated, they become minus 2, minus 2, and minus 3. And all the numbers on the bottom row are negated, so they become minus 1, minus 3, and minus 1. So that's our image matrix. And we need to plot this. We can say that the point A had the vector 2, 1. It now moves to the position vector minus 2, minus 1. And minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1 is that point there. And similarly, B was at 2, 3. Its image is now at minus 2, minus 3. Minus 2, minus 3 is down there. And finally, for C, it was at 3, 1. Its image is at minus 3, minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 is that point there. So we've got our 
three points. And we can see now that if we transform the triangle, rotate it 180 degrees, center the origin, does it go to that position? Indeed it does. Okay, now I would encourage you then to go away and try out different shapes. It's the only way you learn this topic. Try out different shapes on a piece of graph paper. Transform them by this matrix. Check that you can always rotate it 180 degrees, then center the origin. And as usual, this is the way that we generally do transformations of shapes. Just consider these two unit base vectors, 1, 0, and 0, 1. Check out where they go to under your transformation. That will give you your transformation matrix. All right? Now, there'll be others in this series. Do check them out uh, if you're in any doubt to what the transformation matrix is. Okay?